people are unknowingly opening their arms and they are embracing the spirit of fear without knowing that they are doing so. And they do not know how to get out. God Almighty did not give us a spirit of fear, but He gave us the spirit of love and of sound mind and of peace, but also power. How do demons come in? Some have asked how evil spirits come in. You have to know that the devil is a strategist. He chooses the weakest moment and the weakest place to attack the redeemed. My description of demons is persons without bodies. It's very important to realize you're dealing with a person. In the early years of my ministry, I suffered from intense depression that would come over me and rest upon me like a dark cloud and shut me in, keep me from communicating. And I struggled with it. I did everything. I prayed, I fasted, I reckoned myself dead, I knew the scriptures. And the more I prayed and fasted, the worse it got. And I had no remedy. And one day I was reading Isaiah chapter 60, 61. And it said, in place of the spirit of heaviness, the garment of praise. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, that's your problem. A spirit of heaviness, of depression. And when I knew that I was dealing with a person and not myself, you see, I've been blaming myself for all of this. When I discovered it was another person, I was 80% of the way to victory. And actually, I understood by revelation that it was a familiar spirit. That is a spirit that follows a family up. And I realized the same spirit had affected my father for many years. So all I needed was one other scripture. Let me share it with you. Joel 2.32 It shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. I called on the name of Jesus and I was delivered. This thing, it was like a heavenly vacuum cleaner. It came down over my shoulders and just sucked this thing out. And I had struggled with it for years until I recognized it was not myself. It was another person seeking to afflict me. I tried to give away all I had. My mind was full of my, my mistakes. I've been too fragile through my life. And I'm missing you so bad. I don't know if I should call you back You know it's getting dark inside my head I feel this You have got to make a personal choice Each one of us has got to make a personal choice In the light of the situation that confronts us today We are not playing It is time to stop playing church And having a little religion on Sundays This is a lifetime's commitment It is all or it is nothing And there is nothing in between Death is an evil power, and it is unwise to treat it very lightly. In a moment of discouragement, an individual will often say, I wish I were dead, or I'd be better off dead. Those words are basically invitations. We need to be careful in the catchy songs that we sing. The words that we repeat over and over Many have opened themselves to this spirit with the music list that they listen to, that playlist that you listen to. Listen to the content and reject evil words. We must also realize that demons are very persistent. A demon may be driven out but still seek to force its way in again. Jesus warned us of this. When a person commits himself to Jesus as his Lord, he can look to Jesus for supernatural power to keep demons out. We are not to be afraid of exercising that power and authority. We are not to be afraid when it comes to dealing with the devil. No, neither are we to be afraid of the devil's agents.